Hey everyone, what's up? Today I am going to create a Hello Interested design, but for this one I am going to combine Illustrator and Photoshop both because I want to create a special effect T-shirt design. So for this one, first step is I will need some torn paper effect. You can see, and if you want to download them, you can just search on free pick torn paper. There are tons of different reference images you can see they are free most of them are free some of them are premium but don't worry you can simply i'm going to work with this free package here so you can download that too and the reason i'm using this one is because i will need this white outline of the paper you can see here so nothing fancy just i just want to use this white part and you can see this is a solid color so i cannot I cannot just erase that so for fixing that I can simply okay you can see this is the shadow layer I don't need that so if I select them all then press shift M shift M means shape builder and then erase so that's how I only get this outline of the image let's cut it so that is going to be my original design or this is the part I need here so I'm making that a bit bigger and then let's export it let's name it torn paper or something like that no problem okay i have another image exported in the same name so let's keep them and here i am going to this is my photoshop so let's create a artboard and here i am going to create that exactly 4500 into 5400 300 dpi rgb color mode that's the setting of my photoshop will be because this is going to be a photoshop based design so first step is i need that torn paper here so let's bring that that is fine i cannot see so let's bring a solid color layer that will be black and on top of black i can see what is going on so here is some measurement thing you have to keep in mind that this is going to be printed on the chest area of a t-shirt so when someone wearing a t-shirt where should be the position and what should be which part should be visible or not something like that so because i want to keep make it look like this part is ripped or torn from the t-shirt and then whatever is inside that is going to be visible so let me okay guys this is going to be a photoshop tutorial so i placed every graphic in separate folder so here is a skeleton i am going to use so you can see this is the original one i downloaded from google but then i erased some part of it like you can see the back part of the skeleton that is that was here in this design and those i erased with my eraser tool that's just a simple work and then let's bring it in here so this is going to be the position of my graphics something like this and i want to make it look like or give it a feel that it is going to be the rib cage is showing up here so something like that and you can see this is how it will place so when i will place this on a t-shirt it will look like that rib cage part we have we can see from inside the shirt so that's the effect i will create here but maybe for that i will need to make it a little bigger something like this <coughs> depending on the position but we will we can always change that anyway so that's not the problem so first step is i am going to take my magic on tool here after placing the skeleton i am going to take my magic on tool and in my torn paper layer if i click on this outer area where nothing there is nothing if i click here it is going to make a selection of my that empty space so that is fine let's go to select and then modify and then contract maybe two pixel click ok that is fine and that is going to bring the contract inside ok i have to do it a bit more maybe 10 pixel ok that is going in the opposite direction sorry so something like feather is smooth expand let's make it expand okay so it is going to going in the inside direction of my torn paper and that is fine 
so when it is selected like this we can simply click on this layer mask and that will make a selection like this okay sorry i made a mistake here so i have to select this skeleton layer and then if i click on this layer mask it is going to mask out that area but i don't want that i want this opposite area so how to do that when the, the selection is made i have to press ctrl shift and i that means inverse selection or you can go to select and then inverse ctrl shift i is the shortcut anyway when the selection is in the inverse position you can click on this layer mask and that is going to inverse that means whatever was inside the selection that is now staying and the rest is removed and let's bring it below the torn paper layer so you can see this is how it is kind of looking so that will look like we can see the real ribcage but here i wanted to create something more so i downloaded some more elements like some pumpkins because this is a halloween design some rose and then some halloween effect anyway so i am going to simply bring in another design another this rose here and this is a very low quality png but i didn't find any better for this blood kind of thing but in this direction like in the inside of the ribcage so that will give it a look like this is going to this ribcage is full of heart this part is not really important because we are making a halloween design but yet i wanted to make it look like something like this so how to okay you can see this is the normal rose layers it makes this much copy of the layer but we can select them all and then merge layers so that will make it one layer so everything is one layer a skater is one layer the stone paper rose there in one layer so if i so that is fine now i wanted to make some changes so i will change the color of the roses so go to image adjustment and then sorry this hue saturation and then here you can simply change the colors of them something like this in a different color than the regular red rose yeah but i want to make it a bit dark looking let's try to make it kind of i don't know what is going to look good but i think this color is looking good so that is the color of my rose and let's select the skeleton and then again i am going to apply this same effect adjustment and hue saturation we can do it in different ways but i'm just keeping it as simple as possible so you can see we can adjust or check the colors matching match it together so it is kind of the same color the same greenish look to it and then if i click on this layer this the layer mask of the skeleton if i control click there it will make that exact selection like this and then if i select this rose layer and click on this layer mask it is going to hide all the area that is hide in the skeleton so that is fine i think that much is good for us don't worry so this is the effect that i wanted to create here i can simply change that one's color but that is hard to change because it's the white okay let's do one thing i'm going to control click on the stone paper layer that is going to select it then i'm going to take another layer and then i'm going to take brush tool and when brush tool is activated i can simply press alt alt will give me this eyedropper and then i'm going to click on this green color anywhere of the green it is going to pick that color and then on this layer i will be painting that green on top of my that torn paper something like this let's deselect it and then i want to play with the blending mode and i want to see who is who is option of the blending mode will work best for me it is problem is the white so white nothing looks good on white so let's keep it something like this maybe multiply or darken then i don't need this torn paper layer okay sorry so this it should be there otherwise the multiply will not work anyway so this is the final position of my this graphics and other things but as you can see here that these areas are 
not looking very good because there are some empty space and uh, and that will be filled with our shirt color so that is fine let's bring in some text and i want to just add some demo text here nothing too fancy you can't scare me something like this but maybe in this kind of hello host i have a font name that is called maybe this one or this one maybe no not that one so i down this one so hello host regular sorry so that is a font it is kind of scary looking so i am using that here because this is a halloween design and i want to make everything scary looking or i can simply change the font something like scary monster this is also a good font for halloween so you will find halloween font ideas inside in the font.com if you go to that website that website is really good for generating ideas for different font occasions like that so you can see this is just a regular t-shirt design you can't scare me now i can simply convert it into any niche i want so halloween is not about happy halloween written on a t-shirt so it, it's about combining your niche so let's say if my niche is nursing then i can make it like you can't scare me i am a i am a registered i don't know if that spelling is right or not let's check yeah registered sometime it happens i am registered and then i am going to make it nurse now this is not a really good example of design i am not playing with the text everything is super simple here but the theme is if i can place this in the perfect position then this is going to be a super this is going to be really awesome looking design because of this effect so you can't scare me i am a registered nurse that's my design part nothing else so i can simply select this three text go to this character panel and then click on this color layer i can pick any color i want and that will be the shirt color or i can make it kind of halloween orange type of color that is also fine then i will be able to so then i can simply click ctrl click on this torn paper layer and then i am going to press b on my keyboard that is brush tool and then if i press alt and that will be eyedropper and then i can simply sorry so here is the layer that i make it darken let's make it normal and then i can simply brush with my that color so that is going to look like the, it is it's going to look like this this that same orange of the halloween but that is fine now you can see the roses are not looking very good so let's do something for them and i'm going to right click on this and then apply layer mask that will make it a complete png image that's fine go to image adjustment and then desaturate so desaturate will make it gray that means no color on it black and white something like that let's create a layer on top of that and then if i press b sorry first of all i need to control click on this layer that will make a selection of my rows then b then press alt to select this color and then here i can simply pick this color you can see look like it is going to look like this we can make it red to give it a scary look but that's fine i am just going to keep it halloween color right now and then this layer will be i need to play with the blending mode let's see which mode looks good maybe no one will look very good but this is looking good i think okay i think this color often is looking good so that's my t-shirt design for this and that is done let's turn off these layers and 
make a PNG image and let's see what's going on here. Give it a name, any name you want. Take some time to create PNG images. So this is okay. This is a mock-up I use sometimes. So here is a, a design I did for someone. Let's replace that design with our new design. This is the design. Okay, so it is a PNG file from Photoshop. So it's looking like this. And you can see it is going to look like this. And you cannot go beyond this area. This should be the full printing area of a t-shirt. Something like this. And then this there should be some gap between the color and the design. So something like this. And this is the position you need to adjust here. Just to make sure that it is fitting in the perfect direction or perfect position because this rib case should be visible from here not something like the neckline or something lower part of the rib case so it will give it a real look that it is this whoever is wearing this t-shirt we can see his rib cage and that is full of roses something like that so that was an idea i hope this will help you guys create different creative designs this is just an example how you can combine some ideas because Halloween is a scary thing. Halloween is a scary niche. In this niche, we work with a scary things. So that's why this was an idea. You can combine your niche. You can modify this to make your own designs. And you can replace every graphics you want anyway. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this will give you a advanced level of idea how to combine Photoshop and Illustrator designs. I will try to make some more Photoshop design designs, I hope. And let me know in the comment section if you want Photoshop designs. So thank you everyone. See you in the next video guys. Have a great time. Thank you.